Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Welcome back everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be doing Rolo candy ice cream. Uh, I was actually a big fan of Rolos when I was younger. You guys like Rolos? Put them down in the comments below. I guess they're actually not as well known as other candies, but they're actually really, really good in my opinion. So basically, I'm going to try this, and we're going to, I'm basically going to let you know if it tastes like it. I'm not going to necessarily base my judgment off, like, just how the ice cream tastes. I'm going to base it off also how it tastes compared to actual Rolo. So this is Rolo. It is 520 calories, 520 for the container for the calorie conscious crowd. And it is by uh, the Dryers Grand Ice Cream Company. So this is the Rolo, the classic mini Rolo pieces you love swirled with caramel and creamy vanilla ice cream. Get your smooth on. Okay. So it's actually not, I was, I was thinking a lot of times with these, they are, um, especially the more candy ones for whatever, they're like frozen dairy desserts. I don't see frozen dairy dessert or they are uh, lighter ice cream. I don't see lighter ice cream. So maybe you'll we'll actually have something worth a crap. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is that they always put like less fat or basically no milk fat in it and add vegetable oil, which is essentially what um, denotes the difference between uh, actual ice cream and uh, frozen dairy desserts. So anyway, I'm going to shut Let's get into it. How's everybody doing? Put it in the comments below. I guess this week is... Uh, he did. He did. I guess this week is Halloween. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a Valentine here. Sitting in my room talking to myself again. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. Hopefully everybody has a great and safe Valentine's Day. And maybe you'll have some babies around October. <laughs> or November, whatever it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Not bad. Not bad. As you can see, it got... Frozen, unfrozen, refrozen, unfrozen, refrozen. Crystals on top. Well, first things first. <clears throat> kind of a lighter, fluffier ice cream taste, not super full fat. There's like some caramel swirl in between it. As you can see, there's some Rolo pieces. I will say there's quite a bit of Rolo pieces all throughout it. The fat content kind of lacking I would say the caramel is there but it's just a small hint of caramel the vanilla ice cream is more of a catalyst really for the chocolate pieces but admittedly the vanilla ice cream doesn't really really stick out they have like a hint of vanilla a little bit of sugar definitely more of an artificial type flavor sugar in my opinion do you i can honestly say there's quite a bit of rollo pieces throughout it probably what makes this thing better than anything because the vanilla base is lighter and fluffier but not really in like a soft serve way in more of a they they just skimped out. They just kind of skimped out on the ingredients, in my opinion. I'd probably say this might be an average ice cream at best. That second tier, right above economy. It's definitely not the the worst ice cream I've ever had. But it was also super cheap. At the Dollar General. It's a Dollar General Select. I think I paid maybe like two, two and a half dollars. So for what I paid, for what it is, and it is 14 ounces, right under a pint. For what I paid for what it is, it's actually not the worst thing ever. As you can see, in Memento, these Rolo pieces really are through it. I do wish I had more caramel. I kind of feel like that would put it over the top. Kind of lacking that caramel flavor I'm looking for. I already know. 
Man, you went through that fast. Some of you are impressed with my speed. Maybe I should start doing speed challenges. You guys want to see me do a speed challenge? Like a, a food challenge, speed challenge? Put it in the comments below. Maybe, I've talked about it before. Maybe I'll do like a vanilla ice cream challenge and see how fast I can eat a pint. We'll say the back side of it is a little headachey because of cause less fat. Like you get ice cream headaches a lot of times because it's so cold, but it's also because it has less fat. Higher quality ice cream. I don't get nearly as many ice cream headaches as I do from lower quality ice cream. And the back side of it, a little, uh, little tinge of like ice cream headache or whatever it's called. What is an ice cream headache called? Brain freeze or something like that? Anyway, anyway, put it in the comments below. All right, so scale of 1 to 10. I'm sorry, scale of 1 to 100. 10 point grading scale. This is rich and creamy vanilla ice cream with caramel swirled mini... Caramel swirl and mini Rolo candy pieces. Does it taste like a Rolo? Uh, there are, there's Rolo in it, but by no means would I say it tastes exactly like a Rolo. Uh, the vanilla ice cream is kind of lacking. Uh, there's, I guess for an average ice cream, it has a decent fat content, though I, I would like a little more. The, the caramel swirl is just literally like a little hint, like almost sprinkled throughout. I wouldn't even call it a swirl. It does have a good amount of Rolo pieces in it, though, for, I mean, for this. I, I can't lie. Like, as you went down all throughout it, there was definitely a good amount of Rolo pieces. I wouldn't really say it tastes like a Rolo in the sense of exactly dead on. Um, like a little Rolo. I guess it's not a candy bar. It's like individual pieces. But the pieces obviously taste like Rolo. Overall scale of 1 to 100, 10 point grading scale, specifically based on the taste of if it's like a roller or not. Rollo or not. I can't really give it very high just based on that. Probably like a 75 because there are Rollo pieces there, but they're, but does it, it's not an overwhelming flavor where you walk out like the whole thing. Man, that tastes just like a Rollo. Based on is it a good ice cream for an average ice cream? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. If, I, if I'm basing it just off that, I'd probably give it like for an average ice cream, like an 85, uh, which basically means it's like a solid B, and usually the B range, like A is usually I would definitely go out of my way to get it again and eat it again. B is like I would eat it again, but I wouldn't go out of my way, but it's not bad at all. So I'd put it in that B range. I guess if you take that 75 and that 85 together, the 75 for does it taste exactly like a Rolo and that 85 for is it a good uh, or is it a gooder is it a better quality uh average ice cream i guess we'll have to give it in like an 80 so let's say like a low b high c range uh would i recommend it eh, i don't know that i would recommend it in the sense of like it's amazing it, is it something that if you're in the dollar general uh you're not going to really lose any money on because it, it, it's probably worth your time as a tasty treat yeah i think so i think for two dollars or two and a half dollars however much i paid for it it was probably worth the price, but it's definitely by no means amazing. So anyway, you guys go check it out. Put it in the comments below. Let me know if you like Rolo. Also, let me know some other really good candy bar ice creams or brands that you know of. I'm always interested. Also, while you're there, what did you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out that ice cream. See if you can find it. Put it in the comments of that video. I'm always interested in conversing with you guys and hearing what you have to say. Party of Matt's Ice Cream Show comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have a sweet... <laughs> Val almost said Halloween day. Well, I guess because Valentine's and Halloween is about nine months later. Anyway, you guys have a good uh, Halloween. I said it again. You guys have a good Valentine's Day. Be safe out there. Have a good time. Um, yeah. Check the links below. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Uh, we're on Rumble. We're on YouTube now. Uh, my Instagram account is still messed up. So if you get anything from my Instagram account, account please disregard. Check the links below. See if we have anything for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Come eat ice cream with me every week, and I'm going to shut up now. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.